guys, my name is Tina, and yes, this is the third and last video for my Riverdale series. Not unless you comment otherwise if you want more, but yeah, so far this is the last one. And this is Cheryl Blossom. I really tried to get this look because her look is kind of my favorite out of the three to make. It's just really fun and just I feel like the red lip is just so powerful. I don't know, I can't believe I did all three and usually I don't do things that I say beforehand so I'm proud of myself for completing this three consecutively. If you want me to do more looks of your favorite celebrities, then please do comment down below. Tell me I love reading your comments and I love replying to them. You know what's funny? This is my Enchanted Kingdom t-shirt and I saw in one series that she had this like raglan red with like a black choker um, look so I decided I have no red clothes whatsoever and I don't know why so I just decided to just use this shirt which I think the man worked from afar just don't look at the sleeves <laughs> so that is it if you want to know how I created this look then please stay and watch the tutorial to start my base, I'm using the Benefit Professional Primer. Sorry, I was listening to hip hop. But I'm just going to use this and just apply it all over my face to avoid oiling up by the end of the day. And I'm just going to use the Step 1 for Makeup Forever Primer and apply it on the most oiliest part, which is my nose. Well, basically my T-zone. For full coverage foundation, I'm using the Cover Effect in NC30 with the Diamond Sponge from Miss Bella PH. This is so fun to use. Just don't forget to shake the bottle first because it can loosen up with the oil and everything. So shake it up. And I didn't know how to use it at first, kung paano ko siya lay down sa face ko. But I guess I just started with the thicker part first and then applied the majority area of my face with it. And then just covered the corners with the pointy part of the diamond side. This foundation is super duper nice because it covers a lot, everything that you want to be covered. But at the same time, it feels very light because it's like a drop foundation, but just zero medium feel. Niya. So it's not as heavy as to a normal liquid foundation. So if you can try it, go buy it. It's kind of like the NYX drop um, foundation, but I haven't tried that per se. But when I do, I will compare them. So just wait for that because I will buy it. So ayun, just keep blending until your heart's desire. As you can see, oh, sobrang seamless ng itsura niya. For another full coverage concealer, I'm using the L'Oreal... I don't know what I'm doing. I'm using the L'Oreal True Match Concealer in Fair Light. And normal lang, under eye and in the T-zone area, just to highlight. And same with the sponge. It doesn't soak up a lot of product, but it does blend it really fast. So, I don't know. The sponges of Miss Bella PH is blowing me away. To set everything in place, I'm just using my Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Powder. Baking it, you know, I haven't baked in a long time. So I just wanted to bake. I don't know if she bakes, to be honest, but I just really wanted to bake. Well, you know, she cries a lot, so I think baking would help her, you know, Cheryl. I would also assume that she's very updated with the newest makeup trend. Oh, and by the way, if you don't want that white look, just powder it right away. You don't have to bake so much. For the brows, I'm using Shida L in Walnut Brown. It's a warm tone, and I wanted to kind of replicate the reddish color of the hair. Although, it'll be my normal eyebrow routine. For Cheryl's eyeshadow, surprise, surprise, it's not Too Faced. It's gonna be the Morphe 350M, and I'm mixing those two shades together for the outer V, but sort of covering one-third of the outer area you're gonna see i'm gonna blend in first the outer v and then i'm gonna blend it towards the center but not completely to the center next is the 350s palette is the shimmer palette and i'm mixing those two shades together for a skin like but shimmer shade on the area where i don't have eyeshadows on i noticed that cheryl's eyeshadows usually just go neutral and then it just goes darker depending on her mood whether she's bitchy or not now i'm doing the neutral parang she's kind of nice but she's also kind of mean makeup <laughs> i'm going to top the darker shade where i put the matte with a browner shimmer i don't know just to blend it together kumbaga but i'm just merging the matte and the shimmer together. For eyeliner, I'm using the Shida L Waterproof Eyeliner in Woody. And this will stay on. I have swatched this and it stayed on even after I used the tissue and a wet one. It's a normal line so I can talk. It is a normal line with a little kind of small wing on the outside. Very softly. Doesn't have to be like on point. But yeah, so this liner will stay even if you cry. So it's perfect for Cheryl. <laughs> 
and for a soft lower lashes color i'm also using that on the lower lashes and smudging it with the smudger that it came with it you know the drill fashion 21 double up mascara on the upper and lower lashes to be honest, the first thing that I notice about Cheryl is her lashes and I think it's real but since mine aren't that long, I'm going to put some fake lashes on because you know, a girl can dream. Yeah, and then you it can slide while you wait for the glue to dry. <laughs> I actually forgot to put eyebrow mascara on my brows. This is Face Shop in light brown and I like the shade of it because I feel like it's perfect for a redhead like Cheryl. Plus, it will help your eyebrows to stay in put if it's long, so it's double purpose. To contour my cheeks, I'm using the Studio 10 Contour Kit. I will post the link where you can get this from Sephora PH and I will put it higher than my normal um, area where I put my contour it's because her cheeks are super popping and I don't have much cheekbones showing because you know my chubby cheeks is covering it. Normal contour routine if you want to know how I do it, I'll post the link down below. For blush, I'm using the cream blush that came on with that kit and it's really really pigmented and creamy so make sure to dab it off on the back of your hand and then just slowly build up the color and make sure that it will be put talk red because you know Cheryl's blush is really really pink and you will definitely see it at first sight. Slowly build it and then if you ever put too much you can always just go back with your foundation sponge and remove a bit and then just keep going back until your satisfaction. Like always removing the foundation that's on my lips because i hate it we all know that she has full luscious lips so i'm going to overline mine with this red lip liner from everbelena i actually don't know the name of it i'm sorry but it's a really nice shade i actually use this all the time whenever i use red lipsticks so pardon me if i don't know the shade but i'm pretty sure that it can be easily found in the store once I have filled up all my lips like a normal lipstick, I'm going to apply now the luscious and beautiful and pigmented color from Jcat. This is in the shade Girls Gone Bad and I think it's perfect for Cheryl's character. Actually, this lipstick, you don't even need a lip liner because it's that pigmented. So it's perfect because I think her lipstick is CoverGirl and I don't really like CoverGirl per se. So Jacob would be better for you and this is super duper affordable and it's perfect for the look. Can you not please? Can you not? I cannot. Can you not? I cannot. For Cheryl's hair, it's side swept to the left but the direction of the curls will be towards outside on the left side. And that means side, sorry. But that looks like this. <laughs> My voiceovers are usually very spontaneous, so pardon me if I'm really bad at explaining. Ayo, and so now this is my Matara look. Oh, I'm Cheryl Blossom. I'm such a fancy, you know, I don't care about the world. But deep inside, I cry all the time because my brother is dead and no one cares about me. Not even my family cares about me. Can you please clap and applaud for me trying to act here, please? Like, try pa talaga ako umiyak ng konti. Okay guys, so this is the last look for my Riverdale series. Comment down below if, if you've liked all three tutorials. If you haven't seen the other two tutorials, which is Veronica and Betty, I will link them down also in the description box. I saw in the last video that a lot of you guys liked Cheryl. So I hope you appreciate this even if I do not have red hair and I didn't get her. I mean, I tried, okay. So yeah, I have nothing else to say. If you have any more questions regarding the products that I have used in this video, then don't hesitate to message me on my social media. I have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All of the links will be down in the description box. And with all that said, I want you guys to never forget that you are beautiful. Bye! God bless! <laughs>